Right, a new Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer has just dropped, and you can see him smiling already. Um, Twitter's just blew up. Some of the things that I've seen, I just wanted to record record my reaction to it. So I'm going to do, obviously, instant reaction. I'm not going to pause it. I'm not going to try and talk over it too much, maybe just noting certain things. Uh, and then we're going to go back over it, pause it at certain things that I've obviously seen first time round that I want to discuss. But from what I've seen, I'm very... Very, uh, very excited for this. Anyway, let's get into it. The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's world. saying. The sky... That's gotta be before. I don't like it. Ready to Ooh, fire, sir. June unlocked that. Welcome the cannon look cool there. To the new world order. The parade? That's the weapon. Just close scene, your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rally. It was like the uh, Cosmic Canyon. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies. We can overcome our fate. Am I the same as these monsters? Am I even human? Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, <gasps> Sephiroth. You see. Kate Sip. So you heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? As you can see, That's the buggy. your brother's down there. Black Chocobo climbing mountains. Get Flying green. Segways. Best chance of finding Sephiroth. Yeah. I ask because I suspect they're soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Come on, Trust more you can. Gonna get Vincent? Sephiroth! That's not the mid I want to No. Come on. Oh, you be embarrassed. On me. Oh, it's all happening so fast. On me. So that was obviously the mid behind Alexander. Holy shit! What's that? Odin. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh. Look. The gold saucer. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for. I'm not gonna lie, that was one of the things I've been waiting for. Oh my God, Mario Kart ch chocolate racing. That's another mini game. Uh, excuse me. Could you look after my friend just for a bit? Two delirry creatures said only to oh, appear when the planet the is in grave weapon. danger. Who dares disturb my slumber? <laughs> it's upon us, the reunion, when worlds merge. I'm waiting, Cloud. Oh my God! Did we get a release date. <gasps> 29th of February, 2024. Oh god! Oh shit! Collect it. Oh, that's gonna cost me a fortune. Oh, wow! Right. Um, there's a lot of process. It's gonna take me five or ten minutes to maybe. In fact, no. Let's you know. Let's just go through it first. What I'll do is I'll do an initial. Obviously, we've done the initial reaction. I'm gonna do an initial breakdown, and then over the next few days, when obviously people are talking. If there's another breakdown worth having, I'll do it. I'm not going to go into nitty gritty. We're just going to pause it and confirm a few things uh, that are in the game. But there's quite a lot to take in, in the sense of I didn't expect the game to go the that far, but it's ending. two discs, I suppose. At least that's So we're just going to pause saying. it. Mm -hmm. Key points. Right, the world will, will be saved, but will you? This has got to be, obviously, you know, the, the the bit we all kind of want more explanation on, even from the original when Zack first drops Cloud off in Midgar. We're going to see that unfold. We're going to see how the sky he was saved, so I to speak. Like I think we uh, we could we knew that was coming. Um, by the way, that's incredible. The graphics on that, the way uh, the sun's hitting the mountains and the, you know the 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 rocks, the cannon. Everything about that, that looks immense. Not gonna lie. 
Ready to fire, sir. And this Welcome has got to be where weapons to come the in. new world order. After you've been to the um, North Crater, is it? Is it not? That's just obviously the parade. I just I wanted I wanted to pause at these little POIs just for a second to see if I could recognise them. I don't initially recognise that. I'm not gonna lie. Guys and listen. Again, I'm not gonna start wasting time of where I think that might be. Tell me you can That's so. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. The side there, Cosmo Canyon. Obviously, I didn't. I didn't see that straight away. Oh my god. The observatory. It looks huge. It looks massive. Wow. I cannot wait to go there, I'm not gonna lie. Hear that? A rallying cry. Um Planet runs out of energy. Yeah, they're just obviously on world it. map POIs, Guys, aren't they? We can overcome our fate. Am I the same as Right, so this is obviously monsters. The Nibelheim flashback, isn't it? That's a oh, do you know what? That's a cracking picture there, isn't it? That's a cracking bit of art. If there's a high res version of that somewhere. Am I even human? Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth. You see, little cat Seth. So you heeded the looking call great. Too, did you? Voice, uh, the voice acting. What? What type? You know, let's go back. What type of nationality are the Go in there. So you heeded the call too, did you? Oh, that's a bit too. Sephiroth, you see. Sephiroth, so you see. Sounds Scottish. Definitely sounds Scottish. You heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? So that's the buggy, isn't it? The first um, world map vehicle that you get. As you can see. Now, this is. this is, Got onto this straight away. Black Chocobo, obviously, in Final Fantasy VII. The Black Chocobo could climb mountains and things. That was that was it. That, I'm pretty sure that was what the Black Chocobo done. The green was about flying so it could go over water. Or I might be getting that mixed up with something. Or maybe a white. Not too sure. Your the brothers down there are having so a little the green get flying. Together. This is a bit of a weird introduction, isn't it? A very modern twist. A segue. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Yeah. I ask because I suspect they're soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. I couldn't work out who this is, and I still don't. I'm still not sure. But the f f early f thought this reminds me of Medeal, maybe the the professor, the one who obviously looks after Cloud when he when he's infected by the Mako poisoning. Um, yeah, not too sure about that bit. I don't really know what that is. Must admit. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Wonder who he's talking about here and who he was talking to. Trust in me. Sephiroth! Yeah, I don't think that. I'm not too sure. Is that supposed to be the Midgar Zolom? Do you know, I've just pulled up a, uh, a picture of the Midgar Zolom, and I think it is. I think it is supposed to be the Midgar Zolom. Um, and one thing. I talked about in a podcast many years ago when obviously the the force of uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake coming a reality was they had to make this really intimidating and you know, the scare factor had to be there. But if you look at this picture, yeah, you can see the purple tongue, teeth, greenish eyes, obviously green and brown exterior. And in fact, let me just look at the background. Yeah, it's the Midgar Zolom, isn't it? Let me just see... Do we get a better look at the size? Rust in me. Sephiroth! And you know what really is interesting? It is in the water still. So they are going to do it. So a lot of people were wondering if they were going to do it at a different point in the game. If you're going to maybe go, you know, come to this part of the game at a different uh, a different time. But it does look look like we're all, we are going to have to go through the uh, the marshes. Be interesting to see how that looks on the screen when obviously you're standing in water and this big gigantic 20 foot serpent somehow is hiding in the water so to speak be interesting to see how they do that come on bit more on me 
That's got to be the flashback, hasn't it, when you're fighting with him. Don't get that bit. I really can't work out what that's supposed to be. Obviously, it's the flashback still, because you can see Cloud looks a lot younger there. But I don't get what that whole staring at them is. Oh, Alexander looks unbelievable, doesn't it? I bet he'll look better when the 4K release of the uh, trailer uh, obviously comes out. Can't oh, wait. The way you see it, use its ability is pretty cool. This as well, is that... Oh, that's a good pause there. That is going to be... Kuata, hasn't it? Couple of... It's got... Actually, yeah, it has. Look, it's got three. So, in the original, you can see it's got three, four sets of eyes there. Yeah. Just change the colours a little tiny bit, but yeah, that's definitely... Isn't it? Brilliant. Oh, Odin. And something I've been dying... Uh, dying for, not gonna lie. The first look at Cosmo Canyon. So again, years ago with the podcast, when I done, that I done with a few people. One thing I said they had to nail was the gold. The gold source is going to be so key when it comes to Final Fantasy VII. It's going to be the point where once you've completed the game and you've done enough room for it, you can just go max out all the games. Continuous play is one thing I wanted. I wanted maybe some type of. I know it sounds, it won't happen, but some type of where it's every week there's a different challenge in there, you know, like a live service type of thing. Although it won't happen, something like that to keep the community going in between um, the next episode would be fantastic. We see we've got Chocobo Square, Battle Square, what? the best we're getting. <laughs> And that's uh, that's Dio, isn't it? He's the owner, the gold saucer. Oh, look at this. So I want to have a look at this a little bit more. Oh, right. So, again, in that podcast, I talked about how I'd like Chocobo Racing to be Mario Kart in-game. Massive, loads of trophies, loads of cups, loads of longevity. Again, something to keep the community on the game, basically. And obviously, although it doesn't give us much in that sense, definitely got a feel of, obviously... A lot of the, you know, the games are a lot bigger in depth. Let's just put it that way. You can see in the bottom left corner, you've got obviously, you know, abilities and things. Oh, it looks pretty, pretty damn cool, doesn't it? <laughs> Cannot wait for that. Good mini game. Um, that looks like that's got to be, yeah, it was a mini game. You can see the score in the top left corner. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? <laughs> So, this little bit, I don't really understand. This is, of again, this is obviously before remake, prior, so we can see, obviously, the backstory, the back law. Uh, and he's handing him over to Kyrie, I think it's pronounced. Cray, Cray, Kyrie. Yeah, I suppose it's just a bit more backstory. It just seems a bit weird. Just for a bit. <laughs> now, who is this guy? Let's go back a little bit there. Do you know what? I know it's not a first initial thought. It's, that, it's like a prof Professor Gast, but obviously he wears glasses and things. But he's got that pointy face, hasn't he? Obviously we know it's not because he, he's dead at this point in the story. Or is he? Could it be Sid, maybe? I suppose it's a possibility, but obviously he hasn't got facial hair. A weapon? So that's definitely Emerald Weapon, because she, she says a weapon. Does Two look big? Creatures. Said only to appear. Uh, it does look big. Oh yeah, there's the the emerald on its belly. Didn't get onto that in the first. Uh, Here, when the planet is in grave danger. Oh yeah, it looks huge. Who dares disturb? Oh, look at this first look at Vincent. This is going to be unbelievable. This bit. Oh, so we're getting what well, Cat Sith. Obviously, we got Yuffie. Even though we have, we we already had her, but we didn't. If you know what I mean. We got Vincent. Oh. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so many, many things to do. Leveling up different characters, getting abilities, getting the weapons. Get, oh, it's just going to be so in-depth. dares disturb dares my, slumber. my slumber? So the first... It's upon us. The, yeah, the voice acting from Vincent. When worlds merge, I disturb my slumber. 
It's upon us. The reunion. When worlds merge. I'm waiting, Cloud. When worlds merge. One timeline. And obviously we've got the release date. There's going to be obviously breakdowns online. I'm sure everybody will do that. But I'm just so excited to see new characters, the Chocobo racing, the, the breeding side of it's going to be in it as well. Didn't mention that at the time. But obviously I know I mentioned the Black Chocobo and the, um, the Emerald Chocobo or the Green Chocobo. But the fact that we're going to be able to do the Chocobo breeding. I wonder how in depth they're going to go with that. I hope they don't just keep it as basic as go and get this one, go and get that one breeding. Got a black, white. Hope there's a bit more involved. I hope to level them up, maybe. You know, like in the original, where you had to race them to level them up. Maybe that's a bit more in depth. Maybe there's a little bit to it. Be good if there's new colours, done different things. Maybe only certain colours could enter set. I know they can, you know, the gold chopper can only go and get Knights of the Round, but it'd be interesting. Oh, that'd be interesting if you can get, if you've got the ability to get the gold chocobo to go to uh, the island where the Knights of the Round are. That'll be interesting to see. Anyway, I'm just mumbling on a little bit. I'm going to digest everything, take everything in. If I think of anything else, obviously hit me up on Twitter. We can have a little... Do Let me know what you think in the fact... Forget Twitter. In the comments down below. Let me know what you're excited to see, what part of the trailer got you out your seat. Uh, be interesting to know. But yeah, that is the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Can't wait. For February 29th, 2024. And yeah, that's the video.